Hey, what's up, guys? So, you know, it's best here. Well, as you know, Mac OS 10 line has been released, and this is going to be my first of a couple of videos I'm going to do showing you some of the cool new features and things in line. So, it's going to jump right into it. Probably my favorite, favorite position uh, feature. This is called Mission Control, and this kind of combines expose and spaces all into one. And I just activated by swiping up three fingers on the trackpad, just like so. And also, too, they do have an icon for Mission Control and Launchpad, which I'm going to show you here in a second in the dock once you uh, upgrade to line. But anyway, here you can see I have the new dashboard layout here, which is uh, different from the traditional way when you press a dashboard button and it overlay the widgets right on top of your screen no matter what you're working on uh, this is how it looks in Mission Control but you can change it back to that old way in the settings if you wanted to now coming back out of that desktop one desktop two if I want to add more desktops I can come over here and hit the little plus button here add more desktops more desktops more bacon strips more big and okay at the middle time there but anyway i can x out of these extra uh, desktops that i don't need anymore just by hovering my mouse over here for about a second or so and xing it out just like that now as you can see a desktop 2 i do have a couple applications running this is the new iCal and address book now the new iCal is a full screen application so i hit the button in the top right hand corner it'll take up the entire screen now to kind of keep me focused on what i'm working on and you can move around these things and this is just basically iCal i'm not gonna spend too much time on this uh, this is kind of boring stuff but i'm get back out of that by hitting the uh, escape button to get out of the full screen mode and here's the address book you can resize it dragging it up just like so and now with the applications in line too you can resize and drag it from um, all the different corners instead of just having just the one corner that it used to be in other versions of Mac OS 10 but there it is this is the uh, iCal and address book I'm gonna get back over here to Mission Control uh, now if I wanted to uh, add this iCal to a totally brand new desktop I can just drag it up here just like so I don't need to hit the plus button just drag it up release it and it'll automatically bring over a new desktop or if I'm gonna bring over the address book to an existing desktop just drag it right up here to desktop one and there you go so that is the look at mission control now I'm gonna close out of the address book and now let's take a look at the launch pad and to activate launch pad either hit the icon in the dock or you can pinch in with three fingers on the trackpad and this and launch pad is basically the um, home screen layout in iOS on your iPad or your iPhone so you have all your pages here with the, all your applications that you have downloaded either in the Mac score um, or the uh, traditional way from a CD or from a website. Now, if I hold down the Option key, I can now see that all the applications that I've downloaded in the Mac App Store, I can simply just X them out just like this, and that will delete them. Or um, all these other applications, you just got to delete the manual way that you probably downloaded from a website or so. Now, you can also just drag over a... Uh, let me come over here. Let me find here. Here we go. Let me drag over the uh, application and make a new folder, just like you can do in iOS. And you can name this Productivity. I can name this Microsoft, whatever. I want to name it just by clicking that and start typing. But now, that's how you add a new uh, a new folder in this new launch pad uh, for Mac OS 10 line. So nothing really else new there to show you. If you just want to activate a application, just tap just like so, and it'll launch it up. There you go. Now also released today is iTunes 4.0. You can download this right now or just do a software update if you already have iTunes installed. And this is now going to be 64-bit compatible with Mac OS 10 line. And also it is full screen as well, just like I showed you with the iCal application. Now I did notice that just running this, it is a little bit faster. Uh, again, just loading up all these different things, going for different sections of the store than it was in the past it just really really speeds 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 on through all the different things so that's finally a good look to be able to get a uh, a nice itunes that it actually runs fast especially with all these other new applications coming out like spotify uh, but apple still has some work to do with itunes but that's another video so that's itunes there now i'm gonna show you just some of the gestures on the trackpad uh, now with the uh three fingers you can kind of go through all your different desktops or your your spaces that you do have open that you open in launchpad just by swiping just like so as you can see here, I'm just going, going back and forth. And as you probably, if you didn't notice already, uh, each of these individual desktops can have their own uh, desktop background or their wallpaper. You can just change those in the settings just like you would normally. Now, I'm going to the settings here, system preferences, and just show you some things with this. Now, one thing you can do now with system preferences is that you can actually customize a little bit or just at least you can delete some of these uh, items here that you have in your system preferences that you may not use that much and get them out of there if you wanted to. Hit that, hit done, and now they are gone. Now, you can still, they're still on your system. You just got rid of the icons in system preferences. All right, and while we're still here, it's going to take a look at the mail contacts and calendar section. As you can see, this is very similar to iOS. You can just log in one single time with your mobile me, Gmail, Yahoo account. And this will sync it with your iChat, your mail, your address book, iCal, and other apps 
application and this is just a little bit more convenient for you now x out of that and then we're going to the about this mac section this is where you're going to find all the technical details about your computer you hit the more info and this is a, a new layout for this which i, I like a lot and i can see the uh, multiple displays here that you have here i have my cinema display hooked up to my imac i can see the details about that your storage is going to be broken down just like similar to itunes when you plug in your iphone and your ipod it'll show you how much space is being taken up by movies uh, photos applications backups and others maybe point no i'm not gonna say that but also here it'll show you a memory uh, layout here as far as how all your memory slots are being used into your um, in your computer there and now it's going to see what new things we have in the finder now it does have a new look and feel to it and also you can the first thing you're probably going to notice it has a new all my files section which is surprisingly all of your files um, and everything is broken down to your images PDF documents music movies and now using multi-touch you can scroll through those individual items using the uh, two fingers there on your trackpad or your magic mouse very nice and smooth there it is that was very corny but anyway um on to my part of my favorite feature in mac os 10 line this is airdrop this is basically dropbox for your macs so this is showing two nearby computers that are running line this is macbook air and my macbook pro and i can drag and drop a file and share those files wirelessly with those computers so say, say i want to share a file with the macbook air i can go ahead and get a picture of my pride here that i've already taken before and i can just drag this and drop this on my macbook air and i said hey do you want to send this to the macbook air of course idiot i just dragged and dropped it over there hit the send button and on my macbook air it'll say hey i got a file waiting for me coming from that specific computer and i can choose to either save it decline it or hit save and open and just like that boom it's right there on my macbook air very simple very easy no setup very nice way to share files with other computers that are nearby to you now on to spotlight and i'm gonna open up spotlight search command space bar there and um say i got this uh, video file that i'm gonna go ahead and find in spotlight now if i um, kind of just drag my mouse over it right here it'll open up a kind of a quick little preview or the quick look of that file I'll go ahead and make sure this is the actual so right so file that i was looking for in the spotlight search so i hit play on this video and i'll go ahead and start playing the video just like so so this is very nice and make sure you have confirmation this is the file that you actually want so anyway guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here that's a, a good look at a lot of the main features in mac os 10 line that i think a lot of people would be interested in maybe in a couple days i'll make another video showing you some of the little tweaks and little features that are in line that may not be as obvious obvious but i have those coming to you very very soon but before we get out of here like i said before i'm going to be doing a giveaway not before in this video but in another video i said i'm going to be doing a giveaway of mac os 10 line i'm gonna give away a couple copies right now today now the first one goes to youtube subscriber and that is the Jai was here. You are the winner of Mac OS 10 line. Congratulations. And the second one goes to uh, my Twitter follower, and that guy is Dr. Knock Boot. He be knocking them boots. But anyway, you're a winner of Mac OS 10 line as well. But don't fret. If you didn't win, don't fret. I will be giving away um, some more co copies of Mac OS 10 line this week as well. So make sure you do follow me on Twitter and also follow me on my Facebook fan page. Hint, hint. And you'll be notified when I'm, when I'm going to be giving you another opportunity to win a copy of Mac OS 10 line. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video now. Leave a comment down below about what you think about all these features that I've shown you and also if you find any other features that I didn't show you today please leave a comment down below and share it with the soldier knows best community here but thanks for watching guys and I will catch you later peace I almost forgot to show you all the uh, photo booth effects that are in the new Mac OS 10 line and uh, so I'm going to start adding some effects here uh, so you have these effects that actually track your head look at this I'm in love and the hearts will actually follow my head and it's a pretty big target for those hearts my head is pretty big and also these little I'm going to call this the uh, Twitter effect. When Twitter goes down, everybody needs to upload a picture like this <laughs> with those birds flying around. And also, they have the different effects that actually can track your eyes. And I haven't gotten that much sleep. You can probably see some red eyes there. And uh, they can actually track your individual eyes. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome, right? Awesome, awesome. Also, this one is chipmunk effect, um, which I actually is pretty bad because I actually know somebody that actually looks like this. Um, so... <laughs> I don't know how, how fond he's going to be of that effect. But anyway, this is a photo booth effect. End the video already. End it.